guys and welcome back. So if you watch my vlog channel you may have seen a couple of days ago that I did a little bit of beauty shopping. Um, I haven't done a beauty only haul in ages and ages and ages and it honestly wasn't intentional. You know one of those times when you go in to the drugstore or Boots or Superdrug, this time I was actually in Superdrug, you go in and you need like a few essentials but you end up getting totally carried away and buying like loads of makeup and other stuff that just kind of catches your eye. It's one of those times so I thought I would do a haul um, showing you what I bought and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna jump straight into it. I'll start with the essentials, kind of bits and pieces that I went in for so we can get that out of the way. The first thing I picked up were the Kleenex facial cloths. I needed some new, what are they called, cotton pads and normally I just buy the like boots extra large ones from the baby section because they take off all your makeup in one go instead of having to have like three of the little mini round ones. Um, I do really like these, I've had these before and the only reason I don't buy them is because they're actually quite expensive, they're usually £2 for 30 which is quite a lot more than the um, cotton pads. These were half price though, they were 99p for 30 so I picked them up and I'm excited to use them because they are really good. They're basically like a giant Kleenex tissue that is like 10 times stronger than a normal Kleenex so you can use them to take off all your makeup and your nail varnish and everything. And then I also picked up the oh so glamorous tube of toothpaste. Normally I would never talk about toothpaste in a beauty haul because let's face it it's not very exciting but I've never been loyal to a toothpaste before and this was probably like the fifth time I'd bought this and I was like hey I'm gonna put this in a video because it's good and I need to share the fact that it's good because yeah I've never been loyal to a toothpaste before and now I'm loyal to this one. Oral-B Pro Expert Whitening. It's kind of got like a gritty texture and it just makes your teeth feel really clean and I really like the flavour of it. I know most toothpaste are mint, but sometimes you get like a really powdery mint flavour um, and I just don't like that. These leave your breath feeling really fresh, just super clean. I really like this toothpaste. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about toothpaste. Now, I also picked up some shower gel. I did get two bottles. This was the first one I found. I just couldn't decide between the two, so I got both. This one is the Original Source Limited Edition Orange and Cinnamon. I love Original Source shower gel. I usually buy the mint one or the lime one. I just really like them. They're really refreshing. found orange and cinnamon. I love anything with spices and kind of Christmassy scents, so I just picked this one up and... That is that. I ha I'm pretty sure I'll like it because I like the smell of it. And then the second one I picked is this one, which is from a brand I'd never heard of before. I don't know whether it's a super drug only brand. It's Aurora Shower Nectar in Pomegranate Passion. Um, I don't even know why I was looking at this. I kind of just looked at the bottle and thought it looked nice and smelt it. I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. It smells like really sour, like really sour, fruity. Not necessarily a pomegranate, like I don't think pomegranates really have a strong smell as such. I don't, haven't really noticed it whilst I was eating a pomegranate before. It smells really raspberry-ish to me. Um, either way, like I love that really kind of sour fruit smell. So I'm excited to try that and it was half price as well, so I think it was like 150. Um, and I figure you're always going to use shower gel. It's one of those things where if it's like two foundations that I really liked that I want to try, I'd probably just get one. But shower gel, like, you always use it. I use it every day. Well, I would hope everybody uses it every day. I know I do. Anyway, um, I also picked up a couple of hair products from John Frieda. Um, I had actually wanted to repurchase this for a long time, the three days straight. If you haven't tried this before, it's basically like... Um, a treatment you put into wet hair, you blow dry it and then you straighten it and it leaves you with like really sleek hair for up to three days. I wash my hair every other day so I don't know about three days but I know, I don't know about you guys but my hair, today I've washed it and blow dried it straight so it looks nice and sleek and it's like really soft and nice but if I then sleep on it, it goes a bit crazy the next day and this stuff just really helps prevent that, it leaves your hair like feeling nice for two days on the bounce. Um, which I really like. So I wanted to repurchase it. I ran out of my last bottle ages ago and I just hadn't really got round to it. So I spotted this. It was also on buy two for $7.99 as well. And this alone was $6.99. So I was like, well, I may as well get one other thing to try out. So I got the Dream Curl Styling Spray. I don't usually use any kind of styling spray other than heat protectant. I don't really like mousse. So I thought maybe I will like this. Um, it might be a bit lighter. I don't like really heavy products in my hair. Anyway, moving on to the makeup bits and pieces. The first thing I got is actually a bit like hypocritical of a purchase because I put it in my last disappointed products video. It is the Nivea Lip Butter in Caramel Cream. Now, I tried this before in Raspberry Rose and because I actually wanted the caramel one originally but I couldn't find it anywhere in the UK. I could only find the plain one or the raspberry one. In terms of the macadamia one that I see a lot of my American friends have, I don't think we have that here. I think there's only three flavours. Anyway, 
I didn't like the raspberry one. I thought it was just a bit waxy and it left your lips kind of looking a bit dead. I just wasn't really a fan. It wasn't so much I hated it. I just didn't really think it was worth the hype. Um, and then I spotted this one and it's the first time I've actually seen this flavour and I smelt it in the shop and oh my god, it smells so good. It actually smells like you could eat it. You know how normally like confectionery scented um, beauty products are often a little like soapy smelling or like you wouldn't want to eat it. This actually smells like I could dip a spoon in it and eat it like it was cream. It smells so good. So I thought I'll give it a whirl, it's only 150. i I'll see maybe this flavour will live up to the hype for me like the rosé, raspberry rose or whatever it's called one didn't. So I got that and then I also picked up a couple of things from Collection 2000. The first thing is a mascara. Um, this is the Big Fake Ultimate Mascara, which is the ultimate version of the Big Fake Mascara, which I've tried before. Um, they have, a, like, a ridiculously large wand. Like, seriously, it's like the size of my whole eye. So they can be a little bit tricky when you're applying them, not to get it, like, all around your eye. However, they are, like, amazing for volume and length. They dry out really quickly, um, but I wanted to try the ultimate one because I thought it might be just ultimate instead of the original you know when they add like the best onto something you're like well i've got to try that because i liked the original one anyway so i got that and then they had an offer that was like spend four pounds get a free eyeliner or something so this qualified just as one product so i got a free um felt tip eyeliner 24 hour felt tip liner from collection 2000 i actually tried this yesterday as well and I did really, really like it, considering it's a really cheap brand, it stayed on well, um, and it, it's a really thick felt tip, so it's really easy to draw a nice line. I like that a lot, and I got it for free. Always good. Um, next thing I picked up were a few Barry M nail polishes. I haven't bought any Barry M nail polishes in so long, or nail paints as they call them. Um, I loved them. When I started YouTube, I was like obsessed with them, and you kind of move away from stuff, and you know, find new things or whatever but they had a deal on that was buy two for five pounds of the original um like normal formulas and then buy two for six pounds of the kind of special finish formulas so i picked up four the two um original like just plain color ones i picked up were teal which is the most gorgeous like metallic teal slash electric blue colour. It has a slight duochrome to it. It's just so, so pretty. I don't know if this is new or not because I don't remember seeing it before, um, but it just is so nice. I love it. And usually the formulation of Barry M nail paints are amazing, so I'm really excited to try that. And I also picked up Silvery Lilac, which looks like this, which is actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an exact dupe for Butter London's Knackered, um, which I actually have on my nails at the moment. It's like one of my favourite nail polishes of all time. It's like a silvery lilac slash blue duochrome with glitter in it. So, so pretty. Um, and yeah, I have, I've tried them like next to each other and I think it's pretty close. I'm going to do a blog post comparing the two this week on my blog, so if you want to go and check that out, I'll put a link in the info bar below. Um, but yeah, that'll be up sometime this week, but I think they're pretty close. And this is like £3 and the Butter London one is 12 I think, so amazing difference if you want to try that colour but you don't want to shell out like £12 for it. The special formulation ones I picked up, I finally, finally picked up one of the Jelly High Shine finishes. Um, I've heard so much about these on blogs over the last few months since they were released, but they've always been sold out of the nicer colours. I'm not a massive fan of pastel nails, like, I like them, but I don't really need it, like, any, I don't need any new nail polish, I've got loads of nail polish, but I don't really, kind of, need to buy another one because I don't wear them very much. This colour, however, I absolutely love, it's pomegranate, and it had been sold out in all my local super drugs until this one, and I picked it up. And I love it. I've done a review on my blog already. I like tried it as soon as I brought it home. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the info bar again. Um, but honestly, these are just amazing. The formulation is so thick and shiny. One coat is all you need. If you're like in a hurry, you can just slap on a coat and it looks amazing, like super, super glossy. Um, if you put two coats, it does look like gel nails, like really thick just such a nice finish and I love the colour as well. The only thing with this, I found that it really stained my nails, so um, use a base coat. If you're tempted just to use it as like a one coat wonder like I did, um, don't use a base coat because it does stain, but loads of these bright kind of colours stain my nails, so I'm not going to judge it too much for that, but I do like it. In every other respect apart from the staining, it was really good. And then the last one I picked up um, is one of their textured nail effects in Kingsland Road. This is like a baby pink colour. After saying I don't want any more pastels, 
I don't know what drew, I just, because of the like buy two for six pounds, I was kind of like, well I want to get one, um, but I didn't know what colour and I wanted to try the textured ones and I didn't want blue, so anyway I picked up a baby pink even though I don't need it. And I was actually really disappointed, I tried this at the same time as this one as well, I was basically just like testing them out on my nails. Um, I don't really get the texturedness of this, I thought it would be a lot more velvety but it really just looks like there's bits in your nail polish. Yeah, so I wasn't really overly taken by this, but I wanted to try it and see what the textured effect was like. I don't think I'll be buying another one, but it's definitely satisfied my curiosity for Barry M nail paints and their different kind of varieties. So I picked up four of those. Super exciting to be kind of back into them again because I haven't bought one of them in ages. And then the last thing that I got, I wanted to save the very, very best to last. I'm so excited that these are finally launched in the UK. Um, they are the L'Oreal, I think they're called like the Stain Splash, Shine Stain Splash or something like that. I'll put it in the info bar below, their proper name. They are the Caress um, lip stains or glossy stains, something like that in Europe. They've been out in Europe for a while. Um, and when I mentioned in a video ages ago that I loved the glossy stains from YSL, um, I got so many comments telling me I had to try these and they haven't been released, like it's taken them so long to release them. Finally, finally got my hands on them and they are like exactly the same as the glossy stains in formulation. Um, L'Oreal own YSL, I don't know if you guys know a lot about L'Oreal, they're basically a big umbrella brand so they own lots of other brands within L'Oreal. Um, so I was kind of waiting for one of their brands to do like a proper dupe. I know there was a bit of hype about the Maybelline like 16 hour glosses or something being the same as the YSL ones. They weren't. They were nowhere near as good. These ones, like the formulation is exactly the same. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed about was the colour range. Um, I ended up picking three different colours up because they were um, buy two get one free. and. I actually struggle to pick out three. Like, I love these shades, I think they're really nice. However, I don't think, like, the paler pink ones that I got, which are Romy and Lolita, I don't think they're really different enough to warrant buying them both when you actually swatch them. They look pretty similar. Oh, they look pretty different in the tube, but they look pretty similar when you try them. Um, Juliet, which is, like, the pinky red colour, I love. And that was the first one I picked out. But apart from these three, the rest of the shades are a little bit questionable. There's, like, some really orangey terracotta ones that I didn't really like. Um, and a very, like, lilac. I had a look online to see if they had more, because... I just wondered because it just seems like a strange shade selection and apparently there is like a fuchsia colour but they didn't have that in my sh shop that I was in and they didn't even have like the space for it like it was sold out or anything but either way like I really really like the ones that I picked up and I'm so happy that they finally have a YSL glossy stain dupe because they are such wonderful lip products but they're £25 each which is just so expensive. Um, so yeah, I was so happy about these. And I actually think the packaging is nicer than the YSL packaging. Like, I, I really think this, they're so nice. And honestly, kind of way beyond their price point in a way. Um, they just feel really luxurious. The packaging is great. And they're 7 99 And buy one, or buy two, get one free. I ended up getting these at just over £5 each. And honestly, like, I think it's such a good deal because the YSL ones are five times that five times the price. It's crazy. And they're the same. Anyway, that is it for my haul video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't already seen my January favourites video, I will put a link to it now. Bye!